Was I using steroids or was it a complete natural transformation? Well, the honest truth is, hey, it's Dan Phoenix here. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the truth about my one year calisthenics transformation. And for anyone that doesn't know what I'm talking about, around two years ago, I posted a video showing what I managed to achieve within one year, where I went from very skinny, weak and frail, as you can see here, to very ripped, and muscular and I managed to achieve this within one year and I gained 10 kilos of muscle and if you haven't seen that video go and check it out it has almost 6 million views it's the biggest video on this channel and with this video being up since the time it was posted there has been so many people that have liked it literally tens of thousands of people have given it thumbs up and so many people have shared it and there's been a lot of people that have made so many amazing comments time and time again such as this one that says this is what I call a one year body natural transformation and not all these clickbait YouTube videos where people show from 65 kilos to 92 kilos in one year putting on tons of muscle and saying natural no steroids only creatine and protein good job bro great transformation and even funny comments like this one he went from a level one crook to a level 35 boss and many people got inspired like this person that said people like you have given me the inspiration i need i just started a week ago and i update you after one year there's just comments like this endless amounts of them thousands and thousands and thousands of them which is really really amazing that i managed to have such a positive effect on so many people and that managed to inspire them and motivate them to do things consistently to transform their body as well so almost six million views on the video so obviously a lot of people interested a lot of good comments a lot of likes but there's also a minority of people out there that left a lot of dislikes I think it was almost 3,000 dislikes which as with anything in life not everyone is going to like what we are sharing out in the world it's just not the way that our reality works some people are going to hate on us some people aren't going to like us and to be honest I don't want the acceptance of everyone because I know that I can't get the acceptance of everyone and I have acceptance from myself so I don't need to try and get it outside of myself and then to go with those dislikes there's also a lot of negative comments which that's okay with me people want to be negative and hate on me and share their own personal opinion then that's fine they're allowed to share their opinion but I just don't take it on board I don't let it affect me in a negative way because I don't care what random people say about me in any way shape or form and the topic of this video coincides with a lot of the negative comments which I am going to read out a lot of them to you now and then we will get on to whether my transformation was natural or not so you can actually know whether I was an enhanced athlete and using certain things to give me really good muscle gains within that one year. So this first one, steroids for sure. You don't pick up 15 kilograms just gymming. Well, this person must be an expert and obviously what they're saying must be true, surely. No one can gain 15 kilos in a year. What do you reckon? Can someone do that? Well, maybe they can. Just because they haven't managed to do that doesn't mean someone else cannot. Next up, steroids in Thailand are legal and very cheap. Every drugstore sells them are you a juice head, which this is very true. And I've been living in Thailand for a very long time. You don't need a prescription to buy steroids. So you can pretty much get them in any drugstore that you want to. But just because I live in a country where you don't need a prescription and it's legal to buy it doesn't mean that I used it to, to transform my body. But obviously at the same time, I could have quite likely used them because it can help you get gains in a way shorter period of time than if you was a natural athlete. So yeah, he says to me, are you juicing? Well, you're gonna find out in a bit in this video. So stay tuned and keep watching it and don't switch off. Muscle implants and steroids, lots of steroids. Muscle implants, mm, that's not a very common thing for people to get. Some people do inject Simfol, but you get these really crazy big looking muscles, but they don't look like muscles. It just looks like you've got loads of water weight and lots of fat and it doesn't actually look good in any way, shape or form. And it's not saying I recommend people because it's not good for you either. And then we have someone that's trying to correct the title of my video at least they think that it should be titled this one year of full use of steroids transformation well maybe he's all right maybe who knows we'll find out soon and i'm gonna fast track through the rest of them what steroids did you use well hmm yeah if i was using certain ones maybe i should come out and share people on this youtube channel what i actually use i can't believe that this is a one year transformation video without steroids like oh my god you just couldn't possibly anyone 
in any way, shape or form without steroids achieve what I managed to within a year. The difference between normies and gym rats. Normies think anyone close to this can be achieved naturally. Gym rats know that to gain any size, especially as an ectomorph, which I am an ectomorph, and people say the ectomorphs, they find it the hardest to gain weight. And then it goes on to say, you have to use gear and lots of it. Test and roid stack three times that year, then trend for eight weeks, all swathed on Psalms. Psalms is also another thing that works very similar to steroids. And this person obviously is an expert and he can 100% tell through just watching someone's one year transformation, which is just an eight minute video, whether they are natural or not. Hmm. And he's one of these people that don't believe in hard work paying off, but I guess it's just based on their own personal experience and where their physique is at and what they've managed to achieve with their body. No way, only that in a year. Were you all natural? Not that I'm trying to take away from your hard work, but I don't see how. Hmm. And last but not least, someone going on about body types again. I would believe this was natural if he was a mesomorph and a gym newbie, but this dude is a straight up ectomorph. Hmm, that is natural. To be fair, he doesn't say it's natural, does he? Which is absolute true. It doesn't say natural or unnatural in the title of the video or anywhere in the description of the video either. And don't worry, I'm soon gonna respond to these people and you, the viewers watching it now, whether I used something or not. But before I do, what I wanna say is, there is in our 3D physical reality, so many people on social media platforms that have done transformations time and time again, I'm sure you know of many of them, that say that their transformation was completely natural. And time and time again, when they get asked whether they have taken something such as steroids, they deny it left, right, and center. So I can understand why there's a lot of people that can question whether someone is natural or not and is lying. Because there's a lot of people on social media platforms that lie because they build a big business built around their their physique on their social media platforms and then they say buy this supplement and buy my workout program and my diet program and this and that and that and they just want to sell you lots of things that they say that will get you the results that they've got when actually you would never get their results because they're not telling you about them being on the juice that's made them an enhanced athlete to get the physique that they've got that you'd never be able to get without using steroids but guess what just because a lot of people do that doesn't mean that everyone does that. The results that I got is possible to do it naturally, but it also is possible to do it unnaturally using steroids. Because if you look into the fitness world and a lot of the fittest people in the world that are into the sports that they're in, I'll make a great example, Lance Armstrong, one of the best cyclists in the world that was a competitive athlete, one of the best in the world, and he was using testosterone, which is an exogenous steroid so that makes him an unnatural athlete but look at him he's absolute stick thin he hasn't ended up into some jacked up monster like the incredible hulk and the reason why i'm mentioning this is because a lot of people think that if you take steroids it's a magic pill that's just going to make you absolute jack but guess what all of the big bodybuilders that are on steroids are really on point with their diet they work out consistently and correctly and hard and they do all of the other things to really maximize muscle growth if you just take it and sit on your ass and do nothing and be a lazy man, you're not just gonna miraculously from taking it, gonna gain loads of muscle mass. You need to work on the muscles correctly and consistently and then rest and recover and have your nutrition on everything on point and then you can maximize muscle growth. Because if you don't use it, you're going to lose it and you're not gonna gain anything. So even if I did take something during that year transformation, I still put in a lot of hard work. It doesn't deny all of the hard work that I put in consistently. But for sure, it could give me way quicker results within a shorter period of time. And it also depends on what steroids you're taking. Certain steroids are way stronger than others. It depends on how much that you take, how long that you take it for, all the things that you do with these will give you different results. If you take a way stronger type of steroid, such as Trim, which is actually designed for cattle, which is the strongest one that you can use, then you are gonna gain serious amounts of muscle mass. But if you were to take one that isn't as strong, which I could have done that, then you could have gained around the same amount of muscle mass that I've gained within a year if you was to use this and do the same type of training and be on the same type of diet that I was during that whole year transformation. And as Greg Dissect has said time and time again, if you don't know about him, he's an IFBB pro that's got a huge YouTube channel. He has so many clients that are on steroids and their physiques look like garbage because they're not putting in 
the right effort and being seriously disciplined with all of the right things to get the results that they desire. And at the end of the day, there is a lot of people out there, like I said, that will say to people that have transformed their body, got amazing results with increasing their muscle growth, that they're not natural. But it's normally coming from their own personal experience. These people are normally overweight or they're very skinny, weak and frail. They're not very healthy. They have got hardly any muscle mass and they might have tried things to get similar results and then it worked. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean that someone is unnatural just because you can't get the results again maybe you're just a lazy person and you're just using an excuse as to why you don't have the results that they have something that I think about is like okay I gained around 15 kilos of weight within a year but what you need to remember which a lot of people aren't aware of so I make you aware of it now even a year after that transformation I could not gain any more weight so if I was on something such as steroids surely I would gain more weight but then people say well you might have just cycled off of them and that's why you haven't gained any further muscle but the thing is if you end up using steroids and you gain a lot of muscle with it and then you cycle off of it and don't go back on it guess what you're pretty much going to lose all of the gains that you got from using it so that's just something to think about so now I'm going to answer the question was I using steroids or something else to enhance me or was it a complete natural transformation? Well, the honest truth is no, it was not a natural transformation. Yes, you heard me right. So what was I using? Was I using steroids? No. Testosterone? No. Psalms? Some other PEDs? No. And I will share with you exactly why I have never used those and why I will probably never use any of those in the future or recommend it to anyone either. So. What am I talking about when I say unnatural? Well, I use things such as creatine, which is a supplement, and multi-mineral supplements, things such as zinc, magnesium, boron, and many other different supplements that are pretty much legal everywhere in the world, and you don't need a prescription for them. And they're all just things that are found naturally occurring within foods out there. But obviously when it's in a supplementation form, it's a concentrated, isolated form of those nutrients. But there's a lot of people out there that would say that those things are natural and you're not an enhanced athlete at all. But then there's a lot of people that say that's not natural. It just depends on your own personal perspective and beliefs and opinions. Because some people will say, well, it's only natural if you were just eating foods and you didn't use anything that doesn't come from foods. But for me personally, I wouldn't say it necessarily is unnatural, but then you could say that it is natural. So I'll let you decide which one you want to believe. And I will say 100% without a doubt, taking those specific supplements did help me with transforming my body without a doubt because I was very specific with the supplementation program that I put myself on. I did every bit of research into scientific findings on specific nutrients to find out which ones have been proven in scientific studies to maximize free testosterone production, increase testosterone production, lower SHB, which is sex hormone binding globulin, which the lower it is, the more free testosterone you can use and the higher your total testosterone levels can be. And I also took many things that would get rid of excess estrogen within my body, block any estrogen metabolites coming from outside of my body that could come from food sources and many other external sources of estrogen, and things to boost progesterone and everything that you could possibly imagine to optimize my hormone production. Because the more optimal that your hormone production is, the more easily it's gonna be to keep your body fat percentage low and not gain loads of fat whilst transform your body and increase your muscle mass at the same time. So you can do something known as lean bulking, which is exactly what I did. And then alongside that, I was doing intermittent fasting where I would only eat for around eight hours a day and fast for around 16 hours a day, which is proven time and time again by scientific studies to boost human growth hormone production by about 2000% in men and massively increase testosterone levels as well. So with doing the intermittent fasting and all the supplements and then going to bed around 8 p.m. every single night, not drinking, not smoking, not taking any 
substances that people take for recreational use and living like a monk and literally revolving my whole life around transforming my body and learning how to work out in the best way possible, how to do the perfect form of every calisthenics exercise I'm doing, creating the best calisthenics workouts for myself and just literally dedicating my whole life to it. Just researching, researching, trying out things, seeing which things would work and which wouldn't work. I put in so much hard work you would not believe. And I'm telling you now, there is many people that would not be willing to make all the sacrifices that I made, like not partying, not hanging out with a lot of friends, like just working on myself and working on my physique and being so on point with my diet and not eating loads of crappy foods. You just would not believe it. And most people out there, even if I them loads of money, they'd be like, nah, I would like those results that you've got, but I'm not willing to stop all of the things and be like a disciplined monk like I was to get those results. And that is exactly why a lot of people will never be able to get the results I did within a year or in their whole lifetime, because they're not willing to put every ounce of their energy and their soul and their time into making this happen. So this is what I'm saying, it's a lazy man's excuse if you cannot get these results. Or you're someone that isn't lazy, but you're not being as diligent as I was to learn everything that I could to maximize muscle growth by optimizing my hormone production, which so many people, especially as they get older, their hormone production is completely messed up. This is an epidemic in the world. And this is why so many men have low testosterone levels and high estrogen levels, which make you lose muscle, put on water weight and excess fat. And I can tell you now, I know a lot of people personally that have been doing calisthenics for years and their physiques haven't really changed that much because their workout program in calisthenics is crap. They're not normally training hard enough. Their diet's not on point and they do want to change their body, but they don't want it as bad as I wanted it. I want it as bad as someone who's got their head held under the water and they cannot breathe. I literally want it as bad as I'd want to breathe if my head was held under water. And this is just the approach that you need to take with anything in life. That's why I've been living in Thailand for five years because I made it happen. I wanted it so much, so I did everything in my power to make it happen. This is why I live my dream life, have my dream girlfriend, that I have the most amazing life in every single way. Because when I want something, I'm gonna go all out. And it doesn't matter what gets thrown my way, such as my girlfriend that was pregnant passing away in front of me during that year transformation going on in a tragic accident that was in, I just kept pushing forward because because I wanted it that much and nothing was gonna get in the way of me making that transformation happen. And I'm telling you now, before I end the video, if I had gone down the route of taking SARMs or steroids or something else very similar to that, I would have got way, way better results. The amount of muscle mass that I would have gained would have been way more significant. And I would have continued even after that year transformation to keep gaining more and more and more. And I would be like one of these big mass monsters, like you see with bodybuilders that compete. But for me during my year transformation, never even come into my head about using steroids at all because no one was talking to me about them. I didn't know anyone that was using them. And since then, I have multiple times considered doing it, but every single time I have, I'm like, no way. I can't do it, and do you know why? Because steroids, doesn't matter which ones that you take, it shuts down your body's own natural testosterone. So that's why your balls, when you use it after a short while, and you can do your research up online like I have to know about this, is that they completely shrink because they are no longer producing testosterone. And I'm someone that has never had issues with low testosterone, so I don't need to use anything such as TRT to get the levels up, so it's just completely unnecessary. And there is so many different side effects that you can get from using these, and I'm just not willing to go down that route just to gain more muscle mass than I could naturally. At the end of the day, I'm happy with my physique. It would be nice for it to be bigger and I have been doing stuff to bulk recently. So I have actually got to a point where I'm the heaviest on my own body transformation. And if you didn't know, I actually quit calisthenics. If you haven't seen that video, I put a link for it up above. That's a new video that I posted recently and I've switched to bodybuilding. I highly recommend. If you haven't seen that, go and watch that now. So that's it from me in this video. Got any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like the video, share it with others and click that subscribe button and click the bell notification button next to it to receive a lot more videos from me on an almost every single day basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, don't give up, keep pushing forward with whatever you want to achieve in life because no matter whether other people say that you cannot achieve it, if you do the right things consistently, learn from your mistakes and keep pushing forward, even when you get knocked down, you can make it happen. You just got to believe in it and just never 
give up. So yeah, that's it from me. It's the middle of the day, all the windows are closed, I'm here in Thailand, and it is baking hot, so it's like I'm sweating like a beast. So yeah, enjoy the rest of your amazing day. Peace.